All right, hi y'all. This is Azita, or I could say Satnam. That's another way that we say hello in the Kundalini world, right? Satnam. It's basically saying, I bow to your truth, right? So I see you. So I'm offering you a little three minute Kundalini tip, right? A little bite sized tip for you to be able to do anywhere anyhow for real like if you look at me I'm literally sitting here in my sweater and my jeans and my shoes and I want to offer you the spinal series a really quick sort of reboot when you're going through your day and you're just feeling a little like sluggish and heavy and, and needing just a pick-me-up and you're trying to cut down on the level of caffeine and coffee you're having so your spine your spine actually has a way for you to access that fluid to give you the same effect that coffee does. So you're in the office chair. I don't care where you're sitting. You're sitting cross-legged on your bed, on the floor. I want you to sit down. And if you're sitting cross-legged, you're gonna place your hands on your knees. And all you're gonna to begin to do is you're gonna to start to stir the bowl of your pelvis with the spoon of the spine. We call this Sufi grind. So really just fall into a rhythm here really rotating the pelvis and just allow the breath to get long and deep maybe you close your eyes and again if you're sitting on a chair hands on the thighs just begin to open up the pelvis you've been sitting all day and we hold on to so much unresolved emotion there in the pelvis it weighs on us and then switch directions. Staying connected to your breath. Your spine is going to love you for this. So let's say we move through this pelvic rotation for about two minutes. You can do a minute on each side. Then I want you to take a deep inhale and come to center. Hold that breath, and as you hold in the breath, I want you to squeeze in your glutes, your sex organs, your rectum, I know. Hold it all in, allow that energy to move up. And then exhale out through the nose. And then remaining where you are, you're now, again, gonna place the hands on the knees, and you're gonna begin a spinal flex. And from here, you're just going to inhale as you stretch that heart open. Exhale as you arch the spine back, chin towards the chest. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. And maybe you start slow. Allow that breath to tap into each vertebrae. And just keep flexing, really let your chin fall in, let your heart rise up, inhaling as you open up, exhale as you fold over. We cannot underestimate a flexible spine. A flexible spine means a flexible mind, yes. So when you're feeling caught up in the haze of the day, that mental mayhem, Believe it or not, this flexing of the spine will help open up and clear some gateways into some deeper understanding. So let's say we do this for about a minute. And then I want you to take a deep inhale, again, straightening up. Hold, again, that same root lock. We call it a root lock. We hold in that breath. And then exhale. And perhaps you take a moment in between each of these spinal exercises just to settle in. Feel your seat. Feel your legs. Connect to the beat in your heart. Take another deep inhale and exhale. And then we'll move into our last of the spinal series. Hands are coming up on the shoulders. Your elbows are shoulder level. We call this spinal twist. So we've flexed the spine. We've helped to open and rotate 
the spine. Now we're going to twist the spine. You're going to inhale as you twist to the left. Exhale as you twist to the right. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Allow for that deep twist of the torso and allow the head and the neck to move along with you. So I want you to imagine your spine is like this wet rag of all the thoughts, your to-do list, all the things that didn't work, the things you have to do. Let's twist it out, squeeze it out. Create a little more opening for you to understand exactly what the first and next right action step has to be. So again, staying steady, inhaling to the left, exhaling to the right. The beauty of that flexible spine is that the flexible spine is a strong spine, meaning it'll allow us to be able to bend when life storms hit, and they will. And that strong spine, that strong spine allows for an open heart. And we all could use a little more of that. So now just take another deep inhale, holding it center, elbows are still up at shoulder level. And exhale. Bringing the hands back down on the knees. And just notice how you feel. Notice and just experience the experience. And let's close off the spinal series with one of my favorite pranayams of breathing techniques, and that's our ego eradicator. If you've ever tuned into Kundalini yoga class, you've probably seen many people do this. We bring the arms up 60 degrees. Our fingers are pressed into the pads of the palms. We hook the thumbs up. We pull the shoulders back. You're gonna close the eyes and gaze at the brow point, right at that third eye point. And we're gonna begin a powerful breath of fire. And breath of fire is this rapid and rhythmic breathing through the nose. It's almost like a dog panting, but through the nose. As you engage the navel, putting a little more emphasis into the exhale, it'll feel funny. But my God, it'll feel good when we're done. So holding this pose, keeping the arms steady at 60 degrees, keep that powerful breath of fire. I know your arms and your shoulders are gonna start to get a little tired. Hold it steady though. Those arms are extensions of your heart. So holding them up, we're helping to charge the heart with that powerful breath of fire. And we're also helping to clear out the aura strengthen our magnetic field. So all that noise out there, don't let it infiltrate. It does enough as it is. So stay with this for another 30 seconds. If you feel moved to do it longer, go for it. And now take a deep inhale as you stretch those arms up, thumb tips touch, stretch those fingers up, hold that breath again, squeeze in again, and then exhale, sweep the arms around, place the hands on the knees, palms facing up. Take a moment here and just greet yourself having gifted yourself these few moments of pause. So you can use this short and sweet spinal series wherever you are. You actually can do this on the plane. Maybe you won't bring the arms up and knock out the passenger right next to you, right? You can keep the arms down, but you can still do that powerful breath. So just as a refresher, got it. You've got that pelvic rotation of the Sufi grind, right? You've got the spinal flex. You've got the spinal twist and end with that powerful breath. It is one of the greatest and quickest Kundalini pick-me-ups. That's what I'm offering to you today. Satnam. Thanks, you guys. Yay! Woo!